This is a technical tip on how to perform a stapled anastomosis following transanal total mesorectal excision. Firstly, following a transanal total mesorectal excision, the distal rectal cuff is viewed through the anal port. The next step is to place a purse string suture on the distal rectal cuff via the anal port. This suture can be placed either by using standard surgical instruments as shown here or by using the laparoscopic instruments that we utilise to perform the total mesorectal excision. The first string is placed around the circumference of the rectal cuff and the ends are left free and not tied at this stage. The next step is to insert a standard 10 French ready back drain through the centre of the purse string, advancing the drain into the abdominal cavity. When the drain has been advanced far enough so that it is now visible within the abdominal cavity, the purse string suture is knotted tight around the drain. The next step is to feed the spindle of a standard 28mm circular stapler into the distal end of the drain. The drain is then advanced through the purse string into the abdominal cavity, guiding the spindle of the attached stapler through the centre of the purse string. From the abdominal side, the laparoscopic operator visualises that the spindle is completely in view before removing the drain from the spindle. The stapled anastomosis is then formed in the usual manner, ensuring that the anal port is removed before the stapler is closed. This technique ensures accurate positioning of the stapler through the purse string to facilitate a stapled anastomosis in the setting of a transanal total mesorectal excision.